So I've had a few requests to uh, try and explain how uh, I've plumbed up the uh, heat pump with uh, my pool filter and uh, the bypass kit and so on that's uh, connected here. Uh, so to give you a bit of context, uh, we have uh, an Intex 24 by 12 pool which uh, I've currently got enclosed in a marquee tent. Uh, we've got the standard uh, plumbing pipe work that is going on here uh, and that goes into the stock uh, Intex salt water sand filter uh, and to expand on the stock content I've got a Hydro Pro 14 uh, heat pump uh, which is going through the bypass kit and I've also done uh, an additional add-on which allows me to effectively turn this simply and as you can see I now get spray or I can say turn this off, oh, off properly uh, and it goes back into normal pumping but uh, I won't go into details about this so I'll just go into details about how I plumbed up the bypass kit and so on. So to start with, it's essentially coming out, uh, water has been sucked through that uh, valve there. So uh, coming through here, and it comes up into this uh, part of the pipe here and goes into the filtering system. So it takes out uh, all the bits of leaves, all the general nasty bits and so on, and then goes through into the salt water generator. So it takes the salt water, converts that to chlorine and so on and then goes through into the sand filter, so it starts refining that uh, water and the cleanliness there uh, through to various um, uh, sensors and checks uh, and the like, so where Intex does its own clever little magic behind there, so treat that as a black box. Uh, but overall, it comes out from here, so it's uh, being forced to uh, pump out of here. Uh, this pump is at, I believe, six cubic meters per hour. Uh, something along the lines. Uh, so it comes out of this pipe, uh, it goes into this bypass here, and now it's got the decision of, depending on which way these valves are turned, will the water divert accordingly. So typically if one is open, the other one is closed. In this case, this one is closed, but let's say for the context of this uh, video, that one was twisted, that one was on, twist the other way, water would flow that direction, and go down through that pipe, and then back out the other way. So effectively, that makes these two bits not necessarily needed there, so it allows me to take this apart without the need of upsetting the water flow and all the filtration that is currently going on. As I am using a heat pump, and uh, it is plugged in at the moment, I have twisted this so water can't get through that side, so the water comes through and goes down this direction here, and in turn, it uh, comes through and it goes through into the water inlet which is here so water gets forced up into this one this monster does the deed in uh, heating uh, the water based on the air temperature surrounded by it so uh, uh, currently I think I'm getting uh, an increase of about three uh, three ish degrees as that feeds through so that comes out from here back down this pipe is going to follow that round then goes up here and because that side is blocked off there's nowhere for it to go there so it's just going to continue forcing out that direction and goes back through there. So it's quite a straightforward connection. Uh, as you can see there's lots of flexible hoses here because this is an Intex pool uh, I had this hose that kind of came with it so that connected uh, well, I wanted to be consistent with uh, all the connections, so all the PVC I made sure I got uh, all the relevant uh, connectors and uh, screw caps. Uh, they are two inch uh, screw-ons and uh, it's a two inch pipe that I've got connected to it as well. Uh, these connections, they do need to be um, uh, uh, ABS I believe it is, uh, so this means that they won't uh, corrodes uh, due to the chlorine or the chemicals that go through the pool water uh, so you can't use the standard PVC that you would say get down to your local uh, builders merchants or anything you do uh, need to keep an eye out for uh, specialist uh, plumbing uh, to accommodate for that 
But the idea behind this is to effectively regulate the actual water flow rate that goes into the pool pump and to also make things a bit easier in terms of uh, being able to simply pull the plugs on these, uh, connect it up and disconnect it easily uh, without upsetting uh, the rest of the uh, water flow uh, and system that is in place. So it makes maintaining this a whole lot easier and uh, makes uh, shutting everything off uh, a bit more controllable and uh, in your power to sort out. So hopefully that has explained how the core of this goes together and what goes on. Uh, and well, yeah, hopefully it will help some of you out. Thank you very much for listening.